Mindset, a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Hey there, welcome to Morning Mindset. This is your host, Paul Markle. And I am not in my hotel room today, but I am in a, I am in a satellite studio. So fear not, I will eventually be back in my padded studio, my padded wall studio, probably tomorrow. But for today, we're going to talk about order the omelet. You're like, order the omelet? Yeah. Have you ever been anywhere, at, at a, especially at a hotel, a hotel or a breakfast buffet or someplace where they have made-to-order omelets? You probably have, and maybe you've ordered them in the past. Maybe you haven't. I used to be that guy that thought it was, I don't know, foo-foo or elitist or, you know, silly to order your own omelet. I would just go to the breakfast buffet and pile the food on my plate and eat it and move on about my business, right? If there was a an omelet station, I would avoid it. Because usually there'd be a couple of people in line or whatever. And I'm like, I don't have time to wait. I'm just going to get my food and eat it and go. Her, man, her, 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 her. you can do that. You can do anything you want. But my advice to you is if, well, if you would like to live a little, experience a little, maybe actually take a step back and relax a little bit. I understand that not all the time you have, you know, or not every day you have time to uh, order an omelet or make an omelet or what have you. But if you have the opportunity, let's say you're on a trip or on a vacation or what have you, go ahead and do that. Take the time to order the omelet. Now, there is one caveat to this. If you are going to order the omelet, if you're going to the, uh, and Kenny, my friend in Las Vegas, who is an omelet chef, will appreciate this, I believe. I don't think Kenny will hear this. He's allowed to, but. <laughs> if you're going to order an omelet, do yourself and everyone else, and especially the omelet chef, a favor and know what you're doing before it's your turn. Nothing is more maddening to me as a, a person waiting in line behind someone who walks up. It's their turn, and the, the chef greets him and says, good morning. What, what can I get started for you today? And they go, this is, this is how it goes. Um, yeah. Like, hey, hey, buddy. Hey, hey, chick. You've been standing in the omelet line with everyone else. You watched other people walk up and order theirs. You have a choice of six to eight, if it's a super fancy omelet bar, maybe 10 items to put in your omelet, right? Most of them are usually six or eight. Cheese, ham, bacon, mushrooms, you know, what have you. Salsa, maybe know what you want. Tell Kenny what you want. When he says, what can I get started for you? Don't say, um, and then stare blankly at the ingredients. <laughs> and the reason I say this, the reason I, I give you the advice to order the omelet is that little thing, that little thing, just taking the time to wait and order the freshly made omelet, the or you know omelets to go or omelets to order. It's a, for me, it's a treat. It's one of those times where I can just, you know, relax, have some fresh cooked food, and yeah, I can get the scrambled eggs from the buffet. I can get the bacon from the buffet. I can get all that stuff. I can do that, but it's it's about it's kind of about the experience. And it gives me the opportunity to just relax. I like coffee. I like breakfast. I guess I, uh, Jared, are you a breakfast person? 
No. Uh, Jared's in the studio with me right now. He is a yard breakfast person. He doesn't have his microphone on. Uh, But uh, Jared's a breakfast person. I think a lot of people are breakfast people. I enjoy breakfast very much. Uh, Some people don't. But uh, take the time, just that little bit of extra time for yourself. Uh, and, and I think you'll you'll appreciate it and enjoy it. I uh, am very gratified. Uh, I've been, well, I actually talked to uh, my producer, and he said that uh, we've been getting positive feedback, and I appreciate that. All of you who've given us positive feedback, who have left uh, reviews on iTunes or Stitcher or whatever it is that you're using as a podcast application, if you have left a review, Thank you very much. I do truly appreciate that. If you have not left a review, you know you can. That's an option for you. If you're enjoying this show, if you enjoy what I do, you can leave a, uh, a message or a review for other people. Help other people out. Also, in addition to that, uh, I know that a bunch of you have availed yourself to the Morning Mindset book. If you have not... Morning Mindset, A 30-Day Plan to a More Positive and Productive Life is available right now. It's available on Amazon as a paperback. It's available on Kindle as a Kindle direct download version. I highly recommend it because I wrote it. And the reason I wrote it was I wrote it for you. That's right. I wrote it for you, everybody out there. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Paul Markle, and I will talk to you again real soon. Thank you for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul G. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's morningmindsetpodcast.com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort, and we look forward to reading your honest feedback.